Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. What will we be putting in our mouths today? Shut up, Ben. So the last thing Mike said to us before he went away on holiday was, can you film a fridge cam? And can you make it a good one? Ah. We are filming this video in real time and there are two reasons that we're gonna do that. Number one, this recipe is so easy, it doesn't need any cuts or stops or edits. And number two, Mike's not here so we can do whatever we like. Yay. Fact. Today we're gonna to cook up caramel OT bars, otherwise known as flapjack or cereal bars or muesli bars. Basically, butter, lots of it. So we have a pack of butter. All I'm gonna do is cut it into thirds just to increase the surface area and therefore the speed at which it will melt in the pan. Oh, we can't do any cuts. We can't even play the super geek tune. You won't need to. I'm just gonna, I can, basically I can tell what I want now and I can shoehorn in as many geeky facts as possible. This is gonna go into a pan which we have already slightly I'll preheated. I'll come over. Close up. Yeah, Boom. got it. It's already slightly preheated just to speed this up. But once the butter's in, Jamie's also gonna add in caramel. This is the cheat for honey and brown sugar. I'll just stand here and hold it. We're live. I mean, as live. It's not yeah. really live, but yeah. you know what I mean. That's how we do it. <laughs> this is so easy, I don't need his help. And nor do you. Caramel's going in. Plus brown sugar. And that is it. Give it a whisk up. Get a close up now. Okay, at this point, it might not look like it's working because the butter and caramel won't want to combine at first, but it will work. And all we want to do is wait for it to combine. Um, Jamie? Yeah? I've just done something. What's Have that? a look closely at what Ben's doing right now. No, no, come over here, look at this. What's this? What's this? What's what? Look at the whisk. Oh, what whisk are you using? It's the first one I could grab to hand. Oh, mm. multi-coloured. Multi-coloured whisk. I like it. Yeah. YouTube's, isn't it? Is it? The internet love rainbow stuff. True, true. You notice that even in the live effect, we're still keeping clean. Look, see? That's the bit we normally get to cut out yeah, the mess. Because you're in charge. That's yeah. Why. Okay, when you're making sweet stuff, don't be afraid of a little bit of salt. Salt isn't just for savoury. We're going to add a little bit of sea salt and the pinch is going in. Well, he's waiting for me to get a close up. Go for it. Nice. Yeah. Seamless. Yeah. Seamlessly live with a single camera. And then in with porridge oats. You know what's great about porridge oats, Jamie? Um, they're really filling, and if you're Scottish, um, they make you look manly. That is very true. They are also gluten-free, so this is a nice gluten-free gluten snack. Oh, now why would you mention that? Because I've adapted this recipe so it has no gluten and in it. And why would you have done that? Because last week I got it wrong. And, okay. And what happened there? Hi, Abby. Abby got very <laughs> ill because of Ben. Never believe Ben. There you go. <laughs> What happened? You can believe me on this instance, I might have fed her gluten. Her weekend wasn't as good as it should have been. <laughs> this here is a baking tin that we've lined with baking paper and all of this mixture goes in. How long is that like? like? Literally a couple of minutes to get this whole thing Quite ready right. and into the oven. Barry, the one recording, he's probably got a timer on there. How long's it been? Uh, it's, well, too long. Cook too speed long. up. Can you push that into all the corners? While you do that, I'm going to take some dark chocolate and put it into a microwave to melt for a minute. Stop! Do it! What? Good, I'm glad that's been done. <laughs> what we're going to do is push it into all of the corners. And then, this goes into an oven which I have also preheated. The wonderful thing about videos online that we can edit out and jump cut things, is your oven is already preheated. Get that done right at the start, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, that would have been a great video waiting 20 minutes for the oven to heat up. Which is why you do it first. Oh, okay. Do you want to put this in the oven, or shall I just walk around you and do that as well? No, I can do that, that's fine. This goes into an oven, it needs about 35 to 40 minutes. What's great, it's very simple, but you want a golden colour. That is kind of a... I'm in the kitchen. Caramelisation, dextrinisation, Maillard reaction. It's basically starch note and sugars turning brown. It's cooking, Ben. That's what it's doing, it's cooking. How does he know so much? He doesn't, he makes it up, and then people in the comments tell him that he's wrong. <laughs> but he says it confidently and tries to get away with that it. That is usually the case. Right, that right there. How have you done that? Is our flapjack. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That, uh, that there's one in here, Ben, <laughs> and time has not magically passed. So what happens when we film fridge games is sometimes we get ahead to save you guys from sitting there waiting for things to bake for 40 minutes and cool for half an hour, but you end up with this. With a bit of luck, we can now spread over some chocolate and our toppings. What toppings do you like, Jamie? 
Ah, uh, I would like anything that's not apricots, walnuts, or pumpkin seeds. I'm going for the three peas because I like them: <laughs> pecan, pumpkin, and apricot. Okay, so three peas, and all I'm going to do. Sorry, sorry. What was the third one? Apricot. Right. Three peas. But you can go with whatever you want: nuts and seeds and fruit. Dried fruit is great. You could do whatever you like. <laughs> sorry, what was that? Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin, pumpkin seeds. seeds. I thought a whole pumpkin was going in. That would be impressive. <laughs> All you want to do is keep the pieces nice and small, and our chocolate nice and gooey. Oh, no, where is it? He's going there. <laughs> this knife thing is hard. This is great. Mike, when you come back from holiday, you're going to have such fun editing this video. It's not going to need any editing, look, we're <laughs> saving you time. Yeah, top and tail. Is there a good time while I'm doing this to talk about all the other OT things on the website? Yes, we have lots of OT things on sorted food that you should go and eat, and you should make, and then you should eat them, and then you should take photos of them, and you should upload them to places like Twitter and Instagram using hashtag sorted food. Some of my personal favourites, we need protein bars. Oh, there's doing something. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the sexy shop. That's the sexy shop. That's the one that makes every fridge can the best ever. So I came in talking. Uh, protein bars we made for James. Uh, I made them for Mike. Made them for Mike, but it was yeah. James's recipe. Right. Um, we made protein bars. <laughs> we made some awesome flapjacks with molasses, pomegranate molasses. We served yes. with a blueberry and whiskey shake. That was my big night in. That was your big night in. Yeah. Mate, that looks amazing. So again, we've got our really, really sweet base, which is why we've gone for dark chocolate rather than milk, otherwise it would all get a little bit too sickly. And now for the crunch, let it wibble over, wibble? Wibble. wibble. Let it wibble over a few wibble edges. Over the edge. Ben just makes up words. Yeah. More sexy well shots. We also oh, cut out the nuts. Talking. Scatter, it's a very, very, very precise right. process. Pumpkin seeds. Have you done this before? You look well practiced at this. Um, like all of our recipes, Jamie, they have all been done before at some point or other. This yes. has in fact been recipe lab, much like all the rest of our recipes, look which means this. they will work. And if you go to Sorted Food to get the full recipe, it will work for you too. And you don't need Jamie standing over your shoulder, criticising everything you do. <laughs> I'm not criticising. I'm not criticising. I was just leading you down the garden path so you can tell people about the recipe development process here at Sorted Food. That looks amazing. So far so right. good, eh? A few, pump, uh, few pumpkin seeds, pecans and apricots. Okay, okay. Apricots. And, and now's the time you've got to wrap up the video by doing uh, the usual line. A little sprinkle of salt, because salt and chocolate is so good. And then what we would do is cut those into bars, because these are yes. caramel OT bars. But for now, that right there is caramel OT bars sorted. Sorted, but we haven't cut them into bars yet. Not, not yet. So it's just like, it's just a bit of a slap. Caramel OT slap, sorted. That's really good. Yep, delicious. Mm. I did such a good job. <laughs> you were so productive. Mm. I like the pumpkin. Seeds. Seeds. Mm. Yep. <laughs> I think we did pretty well there. I reckon Mike will be proud of us. Not the slickest recipe no, ever, but one no. of the quickest, tastiest, and simplest that you guys can cook up at home if you click on the link down below and get the full recipe. Yep, and also go to Sorted Food, where we've got a new blog up there describing how we make fridge camp, a proper one, not just a, a one take wonder, where we can give away the secrets of how we make this bit look half decent. Yeah, how we come up with the ideas and all the questions you asked us. It's an extra long video with all the kind of behind the scenes bits. You'll want to go and see it because otherwise you are missing out. Yep, anyway, that, I think that fridge camp might have had everything. It had Jamie being incredibly lazy. It had a one take wonder, people. And some caramel OT bars, which we'd like to call flapjack, but apparently that means something different in the US. Yeah, don't so go there. Don't we're going go for muesli bars. See you next week, 10 a.m. Bye.